morning everybody so today we're going to be doing a uh, custom plaque so we'll be engraving this piece mounting it on here uh, and uh, just walking through the, our process hope you guys enjoy all right so this is our uh, completed pat plaque size this is the engravable area so we've already measured this and it's six inches by eight inches so basically what we've done is we've built a template <clears throat> in the computer that's a six by eight rectangle so we've got our reference and then we also measured in <clears throat> to the black area since we've got that as our limitation on where we want to be able to engrave and that's basically seven and a quarter by five and a quarter so we've set that up in the template as well so you'll see we've already designed the art but here we go all right so here you can see <clears throat> our art is already set up <clears throat> um, and i've got our two lines so this red line is showing the outline of the actual main plaque um, and then the green line is showing the area inside that black area that basically gives us our safe space to engrave within so I've made sure and set that art inside of there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is <clears throat> I'm gonna turn off my output on all my layers except for my outside layer. And I'm just gonna leave that as a, as a quick line. I've already got my settings set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this and a cardboard backer to basically define the outline of where that needs to be placed on my laser bed following this job. And I'm gonna set my origin on the laser as a home, basically. And then this will allow us to make sure that the engraved area on the physical plaque matches up with the laser movements. Okay, so here you can see I've got some cardboard on the bed already with my magnet hold downs. So what we can do is uh, just do a perimeter or a frame. Make sure we're going to hit where we want to hit. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and say start. All right. And that basically created us a quick frame of exactly where to place the engravable item. And have our frame size match. So here you can see it's lined up with exactly where we want it to be within the job. Got the magnets holding it down and we're ready to go. Alright, so now within the software, we're going to turn that outside line layer off. And we're going to turn on all the engravable areas. And that will give us what we need to actually engrave. Again, we can do a... A quick frame just to make sure that everything's going to fit where we want it. And it looks good. Sorry I didn't show you the preview on a laser, but we're good. So let me go ahead and get this set up to burn.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gave you some ideas. Um, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up, that like, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications, and we will see you guys next time. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Have a good one. Bye-bye.